All right, guys, it's raining today, so I wasn't planning on making a video, um, but I am heading out to run some errands to pick up some actual replacement gear, and there is a, uh, a cooter right here at the bottom of my driveway. I think it looks like she just nested right there and is potentially heading off to, uh, to wherever, but big, beautiful river cooter, gigantic, really, right here at the bottom of my driveway. This is not a species I see here very often. That's cool. So yeah, this is a big, beautiful lady. Super glad we got to see her today. You can see she's got a lot of dirt on her claws back here from digging, and hopefully she successfully laid her eggs. But really cool to see this girl right here by my house. This is not a species. Look at that beautiful eye. They're so awesome looking. But anyways, uh, today's not a herping day really, so I probably will not be filming anymore today. But if I see stuff crossing the road while I'm out, I'll stop. But um, if not, I will see you guys tomorrow probably. Good morning, everyone. It is a humid morning, to say the least, in North Georgia. And uh, we just found this guy crossing the road to start the day. This is a beautiful little painted turtle. Not a species we get to see up close very often. But sure enough, this guy was sitting in the middle of this busy highway, so we're going to safely escort them across and uh, continue cruising. The big goal today is to see some snakes on the road, but uh, you guys know how that goes. It can be very hit or miss. So hopefully we'll at least be seeing plenty more turtles today. So I'm just gonna move this guy across and we're gonna keep driving, but nice Eastern painted turtle to start the day. He's so cooperative. Look at that iridescence on the shell. This is already off to a way better start than the last couple of uh, day cruisings. He's so orange. Look at that. That is an orange boy. He's backlit from this side, by the way. Look at that handsome man. Probably gonna be quite a turtley day after all the rain we've had recently, so um, we can probably expect to see at least a couple more of these guys, so let's just uh, give him the old... Oh, he's gonna come out. Dude, that is a weird looking box turtle. Here's another painted turtle. This guy is swimming in natural habitat. We stopped at this little... There's a couple of them in here, actually. But uh, it's getting pretty hot now. The morning window for snake activity is probably over at this point. So we're just going to try to kill time here in the middle of the day. Mess with turtles. See what all we can turn up. Um, there's a couple of paintage right here though. So, All right. Finally. First snake of the day. Nice big black rat snake. He's probably five feet long if not more. Closer to six. A big handsome black rat snake up here in northeast Georgia. These things are solid black, which is a welcome change of pace from the gray rats we see back home. Okay, ow! My guy! Why you gotta flip on me like that? What's up? All right, after many years of uh, trying to calm him down and clean his musk off of my hand, he has finally agreed to my terms of uh, let me show you to people for a few minutes and then I'll let you go on your way. So. After getting him in hand, he's not quite five feet long, it doesn't seem. He seemed a lot bigger in the road. Anytime you see a snake that's just like that big stretched across the road, they always look a lot bigger than they really are. Nice adult black rat snake as our first snake of the day here in North Georgia. We're just gonna let him continue across the road and we're gonna keep moving. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we are fresh off of one of the nicest Eastern King snakes I've ever found, dead in the road. Moving in the heat of the day, it's 83 degrees now. It's probably about as hot as it's gonna get. It's 2.45 in the afternoon. Um, so snakes have been moving this whole time. We're just having a, a rough go at it, I guess. But um, it is encouraging that at least now we know that cool stuff is out moving, so. And hopefully something will give soon. So I'll keep you guys posted. Quick creek crossing stop to see if there was anything hanging out. And it looks like the only thing here is this little five line skink. Just chilling in the shade but really nice looking creek would be a good spot to find things on a cooler day potentially so all right everyone well the evening hours are upon us and uh i guess really the only thing we've seen since i updated you last we saw a jerky dor king snake and a freshly ran over rat snake so snakes have been moving um, just not really in crazy numbers. This road's super dark, but it's not actually that late yet. It's like seven o'clock, so we still got another hour or two of decent light before it starts getting dark, so. So this is the painted turtle wetland we stopped at like five times today. 
And uh, I've walked right through there every time to go check the creek. We've been stopping here to pee and stuff in between passes. And this time, there was a giant king snake shed right where we've walked over and over again. You can see a little bit of pattern there on the head. 100% a king snake. We can see bands too, but they're kind of faint. But I mean, that is a massive king snake shed. This is getting really frustrating. So I'm over here looking for this king snake that is probably in another county by now. Oh, wow. And this little guy jumps in the water. This is a metamorph three line salamander. Not really something I was expecting to see at all, but he was just walking around on the mud. Kind of interesting. I've never seen a tiny three line salamander before. Really weird. But anyways, we're probably gonna poke around here a little bit longer, see if we can see this king. He's probably like buried deep in these bushes though. And uh, then we're gonna get back on the road. Really, really frustrating. All right, guys, it has been a long day of relative snakelessness. Um, but just now, we finally cruised our first snake of the night, right as it's starting to get dark. Nice big corn snake right here. Healthy, oh, hello, what's up? Let me get a picture real quick and then we'll get a better look at him. He's doing a little, little head twitch. This is a good sized snake. Look at that. Very nice. Big, beautiful corn snake. Northeast Georgia. Alrighty, well, nice corn snake to start off the night. I will never complain about seeing one of these guys here in North Georgia, especially a nice, big, healthy adult like that. Whoa! Alright, off the road with this guy. He was heading this direction, so we'll walk him over here. But, pretty good way to start off the night. Any night with a corn snake is a good night, in my opinion, so... Come on. Continue and stay out of the road. All right, guys, here's something we were definitely expecting to see tonight. A juvenile rat snake. Unfortunately, the car that was coming in front of us clipped this guy's tail, but hopefully he'll be able to shake it off. Uh, he might be sterile if he's a boy, but... Um, really clean-looking little snake, though. These guys turn darker much faster than the snakes around the house. This guy will be solid black within six months or so. So kind of interesting. We'll probably see another one of these tonight, so we're just going to leave them alone and uh, keep cruising. All right, next snake of the night. Another little rat snake. This one is a lot more patterned than the last one, despite being about the same size. That's a really handsome little snake. But yeah, I'm sure sometime in the next year or two, this guy's going to go almost completely black. But we're just going to let him go off the road. Second rat snake of the night. Third one of the day. And uh, it's getting kind of late at this point. It's around 10 o'clock, I think. And we've only seen two snakes since it got dark and the corn right at dusk. So not that much movement, unfortunately. But we're going to keep at it a little bit longer and see what we can turn up. That is just ridiculous. <laughs> Dude, go stand behind that so I can show them how big it is. That is a... Honest three foot and change copperhead. The copperhead. That, that is absurd. So if y'all will remember, we saw some pretty big copperheads last year, but that probably takes the cake as the biggest I've ever seen. I mean, he is titanic. But snakes are moving, so we're just gonna, I guess, let this guy continue on his business. And uh, we're gonna continue our business. All right, go on. That is insane. Let's see just how big he is. And like all copperheads, wants nothing to do with us. Just wants to get away. So we're going to let him do just that. Keep cruising. And we have rat snake number three for the night. Another little dark one. Lots of these guys out as expected. But uh, we're in kind of a bad spot on the road, so we're going to get the car out of the way and keep moving. But it's about 1030 at this point, so... Snakes have been relatively few and far between, even though it has been one of the better number nights of the year so far. All right, everyone. Well, I am almost home at this point. It was a long day, but we did end up seeing some pretty good stuff. Um, real, really bummed about the fact that we didn't get to see a king snake alive. Uh, two DORs and that fresh shed really, really stings, uh, especially considering how nice the snakes are in that area. I mean, they're some of the nicest in Georgia, if not the nicest in my opinion. Um, but I am excited. I learned a few things today. I picked up on some information uh, by being out there in the field. And uh, hopefully I'll be able to apply it and be able to find some king snakes in that area uh, in the next couple of years. So uh, either way, I think today was a very productive day. Um, even if it doesn't make for exactly the best video, I think uh, I'm going to be able to flip what I, what I found today and uh, turn it into some pretty good stuff in the future. So 
Either way, really good day. Uh, I might end up getting out in the field tomorrow, but I'm not really sure yet, but I'm going to definitely be picking this video up here next time I get out in the field. So I will see you guys then. Good afternoon, everybody. I do believe this is going to be the start of a new video. I might end up picking up the last one. It just depends on how the editing comes together. But I'm in South Carolina right now, getting ready to go out and look for Carolina pygmy rattlesnakes here. I've never seen one in the state of South Carolina, so I'm excited to see if we can turn one up tonight. Uh, it's nice and warm today, no rain in the area, so it should be a good night to potentially see one of these awesome little snakes. So I'm gonna be cruising this road for the next couple hours, and I will let you guys know how it goes. All right guys, just flip this railroad tie and underneath it are a bunch of Fowler's toads. Nice black widow right there. And uh, that was only the first one. So I'm gonna flip these other ones and see if there's anything else. All right guys, didn't see anything else under those cross ties except for a wasp nest that exploded in my face when I flipped it. So uh, I'm not gonna be flipping any more of those. It's starting to get dark on me here. Um, we should be entering the best time of day to cruise here soon. So. Uh, hopefully we'll be seeing a snake here shortly. Well, would you look at that? My first snake of the night, and it is my first South Carolina pygmy rattlesnake. Oh my God, that is amazing. Yes, look at him. Oh my God, these are my favorite venomous snakes here in the United States, and it's not even close. What a beautiful little snake. What is up, my dude? Oh, you're beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. All right, got this guy off the road. The only car I've seen all night, of course, rolls by right after I find this guy. But just a beautiful little snake. Absolutely stunning Carolina pygmy rattlesnake here in uh, South Carolina Piedmont. I guess... I don't know too much about South Carolina, but I guess we're kind of in the region that would be known as maybe the lower upstate area. Um, but yeah, South Carolina Piedmont, Carolina Pygmy Rattlesnake. All right, ladies and gentlemen. So since this is the main target for the night, we are gonna spend a little bit of time with the snake. I'm gonna get a couple photos. Uh, this looks to be a, a girl, actually, um, a female Carolina Pygmy Rattlesnake, possibly bred last year and is taking a year off from breeding this year to uh, regain her body weight. It's not uncommon for rattlesnakes to take breaks from breeding because it takes so much of a toll on their body. But what a stunning snake. I just absolutely love these guys so much. I'm sure you guys are getting tired of hearing me rant about how much I love them. But they can be a particularly challenging snake to find, um, especially trying to find new areas. You know, there's a couple of popular roads where they are quite common. Um, I don't know if this is one of them or not. This is just a random road I found on Google Earth and... Uh, Applied my knowledge of pygmy rattlesnakes in Georgia to South Carolina, and it panned out. But really beautiful snake. Couldn't ask for a much better first example from South Carolina. And I definitely could not have asked for a better first snake of the night. Just incredible. And I know it's going to sound cliche, but the radiance of these snakes just does not come out on camera. Um, just It just doesn't. The snake absolutely glows. That silvery gray with that neon orange stripe on the back. The beautiful rattlesnake face. The tiny stature, just everything about them. Their habitat, they live in beautiful Piedmont pine forests. Just awesome. Everything about these snakes makes them one of my favorites. And uh, definitely my favorite viper in the United States, though. Might be a kind of unpopular opinion, but... We don't want to mess with her too much, but I did want to make sure I got some good video of this girl. Since she is absolutely stunning. And we're just going to move her off the road in the direction she was heading. I'm going to take a couple more pictures, and then we'll do just that. Alrighty, guys. Well, this is what we were here for. So I'm just going to leave this beauty right here. I do have quite the long drive home. I'm about three hours away at this point. So I might do another pass or two. And if we see anything else, I'll stop. But if not, I might end up calling it pretty early, just on account of how far I have to drive home. Just does not get much better than that, in my opinion. We are going to leave this beauty right here and uh, see if we can maybe find another one real quick before heading home. All right, everyone, I did one more pass, didn't see anything else. Uh, I did sit there photographing that snake for a while, so it's possible I missed any more movement. Um, but either way, I'm super glad we got that snake. The only snake of the night is exactly what we're looking for. Uh, just goes to show how brutal looking for those guys can be sometimes. 
Had I not found that snake, uh, it's very possible I wouldn't have seen anything tonight. So I've got a long three hour drive home, so I'm going to start that. I'm gonna try to drive back roads for as long as I can, and if I see any snakes, I'll stop. But if not, I will pick up this video next time I get out, which will probably be tomorrow night, if I had to guess. Good afternoon, everybody. I am back in Georgia now, and I am headed out for a night of road cruising. Uh, today was really hot, 93 degrees, not really worth doing anything until the late afternoon. So I'm out here, it's about seven o'clock right now, back down to 83 degrees, and we've got some cloud cover. So should be pretty good weather to cruise around. I'm hoping there'll be some snakes out this afternoon. Uh, we got a big tropical storm coming in tomorrow that's gonna kind of drop a lot of rain on us over the next couple of days. So tonight really might be my only chance to get out for a couple of days at least. So I'm gonna do just that and hopefully we'll be able to turn up some snakes. Targets tonight, pygmies would be nice. Uh, Mole kings could move tonight. I think it'd be a decent night for both of those things. So we're gonna see. Lots of mammal activity already tonight. Bunches of rabbits. There's a deer in the road up ahead of me. Wow. All right guys, here's our first snake of the night already off the road but i saw his tail tip sticking out nice size gray rat snake really good looking snake too this guy's beautiful look at that kinking up on me but really good looking snake pretty typical looking uh phenotype around here lots of pattern even as an adult but really handsome snake all around um it's just now starting to get dark though so i'm gonna make sure this guy gets completely off the road and i'm gonna keep moving and see what else we can turn up pretty good first snake of the night if you ask me No, go away. I want you to get off the road, dude. Come on. There you go. Holy crap. Look at that for a sunset. Beautiful. Bats flying around and everything. Feel good about tonight. Let's keep going. All right, guys, here is our next snake of the night. A little baby copperhead. What's up, dude? We've been seeing a lot of little copperheads this year. Pretty cool. It seems like a lot of snakes have just had a very good year for reproduction this year. A lot of babies survived through the winter, um, which is always great to see. But anyways, you can see this guy's little bright yellow tail tip, which is one of the coolest features about young pit vipers around here. Um, baby copperheads, cottonmouths, and pygmy rattlesnakes have that little bright yellow tail tip that they use to attract prey. We've seen plenty of these guys this year so far though, so I'm just gonna move this guy off the road and keep moving. It's about 10.30 at this point, so it's getting a little bit late. Uh, might end up being a relatively slow night, um, but I'm probably gonna stay out for another 30 minutes or so and see if anything else is moving. I was really hoping to get a pygmy tonight, but it doesn't look like it's gonna happen. Feels pretty good still though, so I'm gonna keep at it a little bit longer, like I said, so we'll see. All right, guys, here's our next and possibly the last snake of the night. Really good looking Eastern garter snake flying across the road. It's about 11 o'clock, so it's getting pretty late at this point. Definitely gonna call it here soon. This is a really cool looking snake. I love that checkered look to him. A lot of the garter snakes around here can be really cool looking, but very nice. Not a snake we get to see terribly often here, but um, I mean, fairly common species overall. So I'm just gonna let that guy continue with his day and I'm gonna head home. If I see anything else, I will stop, but if not, I might see you guys next time I get out. Good morning, everyone. It's been a couple of hours since you last saw me. I'm up first thing this morning, cruising around. Um, the tropical storm that I mentioned last night is currently barreling towards us uh, really quickly. It's probably going to hit us here within the next two or three hours, so I'm gonna try to cruise the prefrontal of that tropical storm and hope some snakes are out on the road this morning. Uh, pressure is dropping like a rock. Feels nice, humidity's good. Should be good conditions to find some snakes, so. All right. First snake of the day, pretty fast today, is this big rat snake. Wow, <laughs> he is large. I mean, that is a big rat snake. We found a big one a couple episodes ago, but this one, I mean, <laughs> that is a large snake. I'm curious to see how he's going to take <laughs> to being interacted with. He knows how big and bad he is. That is awesome. I just love finding snakes this size. Don't bite me. Don't bite me. Hey, 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 hey. I just wanted to check you out, dude. I think you're awesome. 
That is sick. Put him in the road just so you can see how big he is and how much space he takes up. That is really amazing. Great way to start the day if you ask me. I'm just gonna let him crawl off into the woods in the direction he was heading. Awesome, great way to start the day. And here's our next herp of the day, kind of unsurprisingly. Nice little eastern box turtle. These guys love rainy summer days like this. So I expect this isn't the only one we see as long as this weather holds. It's a fairly good looking turtle. His shell's really clean and he's got a nice weird little yellow spot on his face. Look at that. But anyways, just gonna move this guy out of the road and keep moving. It's starting to drizzle a little bit already, um, which is fine because it's nice and warm. As long as it doesn't start pouring, I'm gonna keep cruising, so. But either way, nice little eastern box turtle is our next turp of the day. All right, everyone. Well, that rain picked up a lot faster than I thought it was going to. Um, <laughs> it is a tropical storm after all, I guess. It's moving pretty fast. But uh, it was a decent little window, I guess. I only got to cruise for about an hour and a half. I actually know it was right around an hour. Um, but, I mean, a rat snake and a box turtle in an hour is not too bad for years, so I'm not going to complain about that. Um, but anyways, I think I'm getting close to enough footage for this video to wrap up at this point. Uh, I know it was a lot of road cruising, but that's kind of the name of the game this time of year. Um, but uh, we found some really cool snakes, though, and I hope you guys enjoyed. So thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next episode.